Hello everyone, my name is Bill Berber. I'm the Technical Director, Product Manager for Fanuc Robocut Wire EDMs. Um, on the CIC series today, I'm going to show you a different way of using coordinate system rotation. Um, instead of using a probe or an indicator to measure a plate to see if it's flat or adjust the wire, the coordinate system to the part, um, we're going to do it to a plate. We're going to do it with a casting that I have that basically has no surfaces that I can hold it perpendicular and I don't have enough room on my work holding vices to basically make the adjustments. So I'm going to show you how I would resize these bores using 3D coordinate system rotation. So I'm going to place the part in this Hirschman vise and I'm going to hold on a draft surface that we have here. I'm going to tighten it up just so it doesn't move and secure the part. Now the attempt here is to take our coordinate system that's basically parallel with the table and shift it so that our Z axis now is, is parallel to the, to the two bores that we're going to size. So I have a gauge pin here and how I pick up the surfaces on the top, I check the top surface to the outside in a V block, I highlighted an area that's not perpendicular and I highlighted with three dots points that are perpendicular to the outside surface. I'm going to use a little bit of tape just to stop the pin from sliding through and I'm going to put it inside the bore. So on our screen we have a 3D rotation axis up here. Now I re need to record three measure points that we talked about on the three points on top of the part where the probe will position X, Y, and Z and then come down and get its reading. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop my probe, probe fall, cycle start, my probe will fall down, and I'm going to jog in my X and Y axis. So I just want to get close to the point, and this is my safe distance up, or this is where I'm going to stop my measurement from, not my safe distance. I'm going to record that in point number one by touching this button. Then I'll continue on to do the other two points. And for the third point, I can actually drop my Z down a little bit more just to make it a little bit faster operation. So now that I'm up out of the way, I've got my points, I'm going to run the program. has shifted the upper and the lower heads now have shifted to become perpendicular with the bore a 3d coordinate system rotation icon is on meaning we're in that mode and you can see now the wire looks like it's vertical so all the cuts that are done from this point on any plate or any part related to this would be perpendicular to that surface we just picked up with the probe I'm going to take it out of the 3d coordinate system rotation mode so I can get the wire thread I'm going to remove the pin. And I'm going to position my wire where I can thread it in the bore at the angle. And now I'm going to rotate my coordinate system again to be perpendicular to the bore after I thread my wire. And now I can actually do a positioning routine, pick up the center of that bore and find the center and then I can size the diameter with a program that I wrote to cut a one inch diameter bore and we actually, what we do with that is in the set setting data, we use a scale factor, and the scale factor allows us to adjust that bore to any size we want. Mm -hmm. 
now that we've found the center of the bore, I can come over and I can choose any measure point I want to save it. I'm just going to leave it as zero as we've been doing the demo this way. I'm going to hit yes and my machine coordinates now match my XY location and I can zero out my coordinates and I can go into my program now and I can dry run my program to make sure that the wire is going to is centered in the bore. And you can see up on the screen as the wire is going around, we don't have any solid shorting going on. We do have some touches because it's a casting. And I just ran three passes on this to make sure that I'm basically going to get a nice cleanup on the bore. This feature works in manual mode. It works with a probe. It works with an indicator. With the probe, it's an automatic mode. And then we also have an external mode where we can take fixtures such for medical fixtures that may not be aligned right and we can touch the top of the fixtures they can be measured offline on a CMM and be brought into the machine or a cell and they can be automatically aligned using rotation we can do parts for slides with bores where the bores have to be perpendicular to the top where they're all lined up and we can measure the top of each one in a program and basically adjust the wire as we go in between every single part and taper, straightness, adjustment, um, and all your technology will change or be the same actually, but adjust for every single part if they were moving slightly on you. So very accurate to use, very easy to program, very simple to use manually in an application like this. I'll graph it out. We do have features in here that allow us to shrink the part. You can adjust it like a cell phone, move it around, whatever we want to do. Cycle start. So now the part's finished. You basically resize the bore. Got a gauge pin to check my size. Going to come over, slide it in. So this is a 634 pin sliding through. This is what 3D rotation can do for your shop. Quick lineup of a part that you can't indicate in and quick sizing of bores, picking up of edges, corners, and keeping your cuts perpendicular to your, to your plane that you measure. Thank you for watching.